Welcome back, my friends. Today, we're going to take a look at the Ludell Hatchet. First, we'll rip off the technical specs. Overall length, 13 and 3 quarters inches long. The blade length is 3 and a quarter inch. The total length of the head is 5 and a half inch. The weight is 1 pound, 15 ounces. The handle's made out of fiberglass. And the steel, I'm not totally sure. I'm sure it's some kind of carbon steel. In the retail, I bought this like 15 years ago or something. I think it's around $20, $25. Uh, the bevel was totally off before I started reprofiling it, but see how this goes. Oh, Freaking, it's all frozen and shit. Eh, it's kind of cutting in. It's not like really sharp or nothing, but I don't know. It's, it's passable, but not that great. That's my fault, though. But I did sharpen this damn thing. Oh, it feels sharp, and if you look at the edge, it looks okay. You know, no, no nicks, nothing like that. But there you go. See how this thing splits. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of wood this is because there's no bark on it. I know it's a hardwood, and it's well seasoned. Show you the diameter, so we'll see how this splits. Now, I did sharpen this recently, so. But this piece might be too much for this little guy. Yeah, I'm thinking so. so yeah, that's something you'd probably just use a real axe for, a small forest axe, but. In a pinch, you might have to use something like this if you're out camping or something. Take one more whack and then I'm going to flip it over. Oh yeah. Okay, this is a lot tougher than I thought. Ah, this reminds me of my old days of doing reviews and shit, how I always overdo stuff and nothing has changed. Oh, there she blows. I weakened it enough. I do see a little crack right there. Ooh, bad aim. Come on, tack. Yep, my aim's a little on the rusty side, guys. There it goes. Now the handle, <clears throat> definitely not that nice. I already can feel the abrasiveness of the fiberglass. Definitely not very ergonomic. Okay, so this next piece, this is sugar maple. Oh man, look at that wacky. I, I cut that stupid. Well, let's see if we can split her. It, it always feels weird trying to split wood one-handed, but that's what it is. It's a hatchet, right? It's a one-handed tool. I'm just used to aiming with two hands. And this is pretty seasoned. I don't see, don't see any knots. Man, now I remember why I didn't like doing reviews in the winter. It's freaking cold out. Should have gloves on, I know, but I like testing stuff barehanded. That way I get to feel the shock, the abrasiveness. You know, usually I will wear gloves when I'm really doing shit, but this is a test. I don't think I'm gonna get through this little thing. Damn starting to but and it's a tough target it's small well we got a crack going Man, it's really getting stuck All right, one more whack and I'm gonna I don't even know if I can flip it over since it's so crooked there we go whoops we're getting her now guys See if we can get it back in the hole. And that's what she said. Let's try the old 10 chop test on this down uh, dead white pine. It's been here for a couple years. A little on the frozen side, I had to clean the snow and ice off of it. Let's see what we can do. Mm. 
And I was pretty much swinging that as hard as I could. Give you a close up of the destruction. This is really dad, but it was biting okay. I mean, not too bad. Like I said, I did recently sharpen this, but not too awful for a little hatchet. So, in the end, what do I think about the little Ludell hatchet? Eh, and I originally bought it just to do homeowner stuff, beating on stuff around the house. You can use it as a hammer, whatever you want. The biggest downfall is the handle. I hate these things. Everybody's like, they're indestructible. But like I said in a previous vid, I had the full-size Ludell axe, and the handle actually cracked just because of the cold. I didn't even use it, it was just sitting and it cracked. But, eh, the shape's okay. The, the stippling or whatever you want to call that, I don't know, kind of abrasive, a little bit like a cheese grater. The steel, you know, the edge was wacky. I fixed that. The steel is definitely a soft steel. Huh, this is what you get for doing your review close to the road. That's where my wood pile is. You get the hell out of here, Frank. Sorry about that. But, yeah, for the money, you know, it's not bad. If this is something, you know, you just want to throw in your truck or a little camping thing, I guess. I'd definitely get something cooler. See the edge did, I don't know if you can even see that down near here. It does look like it was chipping a little bit or you can see the deformation if you look close. So the steel is definitely eh, no wiggle. Oh, I just said that. I am such a liar. I didn't know this thing wiggled. Oh, can I get you guys to see it or even hear it? No, I don't know if you can hear that because the neighbor's doing shit. It actually wiggles. I didn't even know it wiggled till right now. Damn. And I'm sure it didn't happen just right now. It probably did do it, but you can see that little... See the space right there? See the light? Yeah, you can see it. Eh. I don't know. So, yeah, I'll have to say, mm, okay. Change my score. <laughs> so, 1 to 10... Oh, that's disappointing. Three and a half? I don't know. I've never really liked this thing. Like I said, I just bought it to beat around the house and do stuff I don't want to use a good ax on. Like if I got to chop in the dirt or something, that's mainly what this is for. It's just a beater. So would I recommend it? Nah. Go find yourself something cooler. But hey, it's just my honest review. As always, it's good to see my people. And until the next time we meet.